I know it is only four weeks, Albert, but I will get it done. A divorced dad can't relate to his kids, Ashley and Josh. Though on vacation at a picturesque Lakeside community, Dr. Jack Black, played by Mark Harmon, is a famous psychiatrist radio jock who doesn't know how to put his work away. And his children are left lonely and disappointed. Ten-year-old Ashley, played by newcomer Sarah Wayne, finds companionship in a gentle creature who lives in the lake. He's a guy who has uh, developed walls and barriers to protect himself. He's usually on the phone, and he's always buried in his paperwork. Monster, he's real. He ate my cookie. His name is Orky, a sort of friendly Loch Ness monster who shares Ashley's passion for Oreo cookies. When Jack Black finally sees Orky with his own eyes, he experiences a complete turnaround and becomes the father he always should have been. Jack, have you seen the monster? Monster? No. No, that was a dream. Writer-director Rick Stevenson had no problem believing in such a fantasy. And I'd always been fascinated by the Loch Ness Monster story. And I'd realized that there are a number of monsters also in North America. Nobody can deny that this is a very magical town, that there's something indeed out there. When I got here, I discovered a group of men who all have an identical psychosis. What? Like a cult? No, they all believe they've been inhabited by a lake monster. Dr. Wanda Bell, played by Harley Jane Kozak, is also a psychiatrist. She's been treating many in the lakeside community who think they've encountered the monster. It is probably the, is the last holdout. Um, does not for a moment believe that there is any truth to the rumor of the monster, but has to deal with the fact that it's giving people strange and amazing psychosomatic symptoms. Magic in the Water is a family film meant to bring a little magic to kids and to adults who've lost their innocence but wouldn't mind finding it once again. I love you, Lorky.